We are here with Marcel Yorgoli at the GAP Summit 2014. Marcel, tell us a bit about yourself and what you do. So I'm finishing up my PhD in physics and uh, being in the summit that might sound a little strange, we are talking about biotechnology. However, my focus uh, during these past several years has been to trying to develop novel tools uh, for challenging problems that currently exist in biology. So, for example, currently I'm, try I'm working on a project that integrates vertical nanowire electrodes with backside CMOS circuitry, basically your IC camera chip, and try uh, towards developing tools that can do high throughput neuronal network studies and also enable studies in high throughput for drug screening. So I'm trying to use my physics background to develop tools that are really necessary nowadays in biology and chemistry and uh, in the biotech field in general. Okay, great. And based on what you've heard at the summit, what do you think is the most significant of the seven gaps discussed and why? So uh, in my application, I said that the research and innovation gap is the most significant one and needs the most work. However, after the last two days uh, of discussions and uh, speakers, I've come to realize that yes, there is that research and innovation gap. And originally I identified this gap as uh, the existence of this dichotomy between industry and academia and there, the lack of a bridge between the two that takes that gets benefits uh, the benefits of academia and industry and puts them together. There isn't such a thing, right? But then after these discussions, I now think that it's more like a people's gap that is giving rise to this research and innovation gap, to this lack of a bridge between industry and academia. And I think that we need new people, new innovators that can take the great inventions that are done in an academic lab where you have brilliant scientists that often do not take their discoveries to the next stage, which would be make it available to the public, make, make it uh, implemented in our society. Okay, excellent. And what do you think uh, are the take-home messages or take-home message um, based on our discussions during the GAP Summit? Everything is possible. Um, passion. The most important thing in life is passion. And I grew up thinking that I decided to study physics because I was passionate about it. Um, it was easy. Uh, and it just came as fun, right? And then during the so the day-to-day -day PhD life, you're sitting down and pipetting, working in a clean room, in a bunny suit, uh, making your IC chips, and you're a little daunted by this day-to-day -day work and you forget a little bit about your passions, right? So then coming here and listening to all these charismatic speakers and these great leaders in both academia and industry and how passionate they are about their work and how every single one of them emphasized the fact that to be successful, you have to be passionate. It, I think I rediscovered that incentive that passion is the most important thing in life for you to become a world leader in finance, in biotech, in whatever you want to pursue. So I think that's my take home message. Follow the passion. And last question, what have you enjoyed the most during the GAP Summit? The direct interactions and open-mindedness of everyone. But at the same time, the different perspectives that people have offered. It's been interesting how one day in the morning you hear one person that is like a great uh, proponent of GMOs and how they think that they will be the next big thing in our future and how they will allow us to grow into a more sustainable society. And then in the afternoon you hear from another guy who's like the, the greatest opponent of GMOs and think that they are potentially the worst solution. And like getting all these different perspectives and trying to assimilate everything and come up with my own ideas and decisions and thoughts that has been one of the greatest things that I'm taking with me home. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.